Is your hair constantly dry? Well, by the end of this video, you will learn what's causing this dryness and steps that you can take to get softer, more manageable, moisturized hair. For more natural hair and lifestyle videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell sign to get notified when I post videos every Friday. All right, so let's get into this video. Why is my hair constantly dry? So some of the main reasons is one, we're not clarifying our hair very well or cleansing the hair very well. Two, we're not moisturizing it, so it's not retaining any moisture. And three, we may be using products with just harsh ingredients. So we know what's causing our hair from being dry, so how do we fix it? How do I get my hair nice and moisturized again? Well, firstly, to get your hair moisturized, it needs to learn how to retain moisture. And where does mo what is moisture? Because we hear this word all around and I get asked all the time, how do I moisture mo moisturize my hair properly? So first of all, moisture is not from a jar of grease. Moisture is not from a bottle of oil. Moisture actually comes from, a drum roll please, water. Yes, simple, simple water. How often do you wash your hair? Please let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so to properly moisturize our hair, our hair needs to be hydrated. And for your hair to be hydrated, it needs to get wet. All right, so let's go through the steps to properly hydrate our hair. Step one, wash your hair, clarify your hair, cleanse your hair, use a good shampoo or a clay wash to take off all that product buildup of your scalp and your hair strands. Dirty hair cannot absorb moisture. Product buildup comes from layers and layers of whether the oils we're putting on or the grease we're putting on or just even dust from the air and things like that. Step two, incorporating deep conditioning, guys. All right, so I personally, I am guilty of this. When I first went natural, I would do deep condition like once every three months maybe or four months maybe if I just remembered because um, I was doing back to back to back protective styling and this is not really good if you are experiencing really dry hair. If you want to get your hair back to its good moisturized state you need to incorporate some deep conditioning um, and if you've got like if you find that your hair is just very very dry use some heat on it so put a nice deep conditioner sit on the hooded dry if you've got one use a warm towel if you've got one and just put that on your head having um, a regimen where you include deep conditioning is very important to getting your hair more mo moisturized and manageable deep conditioning will also help improve your hair cuticles it would help repair damaged cuticles but a lot of the time when our hair is really dry it's because we've got we've damaged our cuticles it's not sealing properly it's not laying flat properly um, and for it to for for you to retain the moisture you need your cuticles to lay flat to cover the hair cortex which is where your moisture is um, retained so deep conditioning will help improve that over time step three it's time to retain the moisture so first we washed our hair and then we did a nice deep conditioning and we condition your hair so now it's time to actually retain that moisture that we've put on our hair all right so to retain moisture you want to lock it in and to do that you want to start with the lightest product so you've, you've washed your hair your hair is wet you know just um, squeeze out the excess and then start with a leave-in conditioner so put that on first and then if you've got a styling cream you can put that on next and then if you've got an oil you want to use whether it's your um, olive oil extra virgin olive oil whether it's your castor oil then you can put that on the top so you want to layer it based on the lightest product first so we start with our leave-in conditioner then our styling cream and then our oil and then that should hopefully lock in the moisture. Please remember that when you lock in your moisture, moisture is evaporating from the moment we lock it in. It's not on ending. It's not, okay, locked it in now so I can go three months without doing my hair. No, it's evaporating. Really, you should be washing, if you're having your hair out, like I have my, mine out quite often, you should be washing your hair weekly. Um, if you've got protective styling, don't, don't don't expect your protective style to actually protect your hair if you aren't washing and keeping your scalp clean 
I am so guilty of this as well when I would have protective stuff I'm like yes my hair's braided it's protected and then I go for like weeks on end without touching it without moisturizing it and then I take my braids out and I'm like why is my hair so dry yes while your hair is in braids if you've got a weave if you're rocking a wig please remember to take care of the hair underneath all of that okay so wash the hair wash your scalp spray the hair all of that really, really would help you retain moisture and help your hair just be better absorbing moisture and retaining moisture. Please read the directions on the bottle and follow the way that they advise you to use the product. Lastly, get yourself a nice satin pillowcase or a satin bonnet. All of these things will help you improve your hair moisturized state and retain moisture thank you for watching check out this video on five sizes to trim your hair of this video on my wash and go routine using the dough if you like this video hit that like button be sure to subscribe and share with your family and friends